What's up everybody? My name is Fico and this is my gaming mind and welcome to Hearthstone. Yes, I am part of the collective of Hearthstone now. <laughs> this is Blizzard Entertainment's new free-to-play game. It's currently on beta and it's a CCC. Uh, um, not a CCC. I don't think it's a collective card game. It's pretty much like a like a like a card game itself. Um, sort of similar a lot in the terms of uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, I myself am not an expert in Magic the Gathering. I've only just learned how to play it last year. I don't play it. I don't buy decks. I've through my friend Noah, I realize it, it can be a little bit of an expensive hobby. But let me just explain a little bit about how Hearthstone works through the bit of the commentary here. Uh, below, it's me, the one that has the 30 down below on the bottom right. That's me, a mage. And to the right is a skill that I could use every time I have enough mana to use it. Um, upon the first turn, you have one mana. And at the end of every turn, you keep accumulating mana after each turn. See, my turn is now up. Now I have four. I start with one. You get two. Then at your next turn is three. You get four. And then at the end, you get up to ten mana. Now, here, basically, the objective of the game is to kill the enemy uh, and drain his life force down to zero. And right there, you see, I'm damaging. I'm using cards... Um, fairly quickly here. This isn't really much going to be a commentary about the game itself uh, that I'm that it's currently showing to you. This is one of my very first games. Um, when you're playing Hearthstone at the very beginning, you get thrusted right into the campaign. You get taught how to play it. It's a very uh, well graphically put game, you know, like for example, when you hover over cards, it'll show you whether you'll kill them and it'll kill you at the same time like it just did right now. Summon a ability there. Um, it's, it's a seriously addicting game. I really, really like it. I <laughs> I couldn't stop playing it. I, I, the, the, the weird thing is I, I thought I wasn't in the beta. And it turns out I got an invite for it around November 26. Uh, you gotta definitely check your emails, do a search, and make sure that you got invited onto Hearthstone if you decided to put yourself on the beta. So basically, um, but back to the game. Uh, basically, what you do is you um, you can put in minions and as you see the Z's there uh, you can't use them upon summoning them for the first time unless they have charge like she did right now uh, uh, I mean the shaman just did uh, that's kind of sort of like summoning sickness you can't use the creatures uh, until a turn has gone by and then you can use them you can use skills against the other opponent unless they have a taunt card which basically you have to attack the taunt card before you could do any damage to the opponent um you've got different kinds of cards you got cards that heal you and cards that drain life from the other guy you got cards like that one that just turned me into a toad you got cards that you can give opponents uh cards wind fury which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it'll give you the ability to attack twice. Shaman over there, he's using this thing called Toten. He can summon Totens. Uh, and um, Totens are going to be uh, a pain in the neck. <laughs> I actually used the Shaman, and the Shaman was pretty neat. That's another thing, and you, you're playing in practice mode. Once you go through the initial couple of games, just to get introduced, you'll go into practice mode. And then in practice mode, you'll unlock the other classes. Druid, Mage, Shaman, Rogue, a few others. They each are special because there are certain cards that are built specifically for, you know, to work with those, those decks to their advantage. But there are also cards, um, there are also abilities. Like for example, my ability is every turn i can summon a one damage fireball every time but the cost of two mana right now i'm at two eight and uh each turn goes up to one i keep saying that but um 
it's really uh, just an easy game to just get into. Um, I, I am going to be playing this game uh, a lot more uh, as the days go on. I will also be showing you guys uh, the co a bit of a commentary of what I am doing with uh, with the games. The initial stuff, the problem was that I um, I didn't have the audio set to the game itself. So it didn't record any audio. Uh, and I did not do any commentary as I was <laughs> playing through the game. I find it a lot easier to just explain what I'm doing in the game as I'm doing it, you know, live on the game. We're doing it live! <laughs> We're doing it live, Victor! We're doing it live! Friend Victor, he's just the one that got introduced me to that meme, and uh, <laughs> he always does it live. Good good for him to get back on the, on the YouTube horse as well. So, Hearthstone, uh, it's very, very easy. It, you didn't even have to know how to play Magic the Gathering. Playing Magic the Gathering, I would say, ma this is pretty much like um, Magic the Gathering light. Seriously, the, the, but there is strategy. These games can last like 10 minutes. Like uh, if you notice right now at the length of this, we're doing at a, at a good six and a half minutes and he's down to 11 and I'm down to 13. I've got a good taunt. He can't attack me at all until he kills that taunt card, which is the guy that's gonna have that like the shield emblem, like the one that just got uh, he got hexed and got turned into a zero one frog. That's a good thing to have. I need to adjust decks, which you can build decks upon cards that you can unlock by playing the pack practice mode taking on people and you could also get coins by achieving the challenges that are there the quests and you can also basically um achieve uh i can show you guys in a moment how to build your own deck here so what i'll do is um this game ends with me being the victor you also gain levels, as you can see. I'm up to like level five with my with my mage, and I've unlocked the shaman. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at how I built uh, a deck here. It's pretty neat. Uh, really awesome. I, I used it. Like I said, you could also get these uh, these uh, challenges, like these quests. Like for example. Uh, this is uh, me opening up a pack, and uh, a pack you basically win an expert pack simply by just beating a different uh, a person you playing in an actual game. I uh, like to see there a wild pyromancer, which is good for all classes. Now, what I don't know yet is if the specific cards that you get are, like, for example, this circle of healing. It says this for, is a priest card. This one is a cold blood. It's a rogue card. Now, I don't know if you have to be a rogue to use these, or maybe these are just speciality cards to use to build around a rogue deck or a priest deck. Like this one is a hunter deck. And, uh, well, you can either buy these ca uh, packs either by completing quests if they accomplish, or if you just pretty much just built it upon build your own build your own here so um let's see what we're doing here like i did build my own deck so uh right there you can use uh different ones of that i've unlocked and i'm gonna use like a, a, a hunter which has an ability called steady shot or maybe I just use the shaman. See, these are all good, <laughs> all good classes, and believe me, uh, these classes add a good deal of replayability. And because once you're done, what you do is you keep playing. When you keep practicing, you keep unlocking cards. And if you want to buy more cards, this is fairly similar to Magic: The Gathering. When you, when in terms of like you can buy the boxes and then you can just work with it 
I don't know why I suddenly started using play call. See, this is where I realized that the audio wasn't <laughs> set to my bows. And it, cause, uh, there you go. Well, uh, oh, another thing is that if you flip a coin and you get a chance to, uh, go first. And, uh, if you don't win the coin toss, you basically get... I think another card and you get that thing it's like the coin token so you kind of sort of get rewarded for not going first I don't know if this happens all the time or if this is just something that uh, just happens once in a while so yeah going through the game it's got really good connectivity really good response the graphics uh, of, of this game it's this really cute warcraft it's based around warcraft i never actually played much of the warcraft games i didn't play wow but i do remember playing a little bit of warcraft 3 a long time ago on pc on a friend's computer it was a really good game even at its time when i was a kid it was a uh, pretty ahead of its time when it came to games like that it brings back all of those good feels good feels <laughs> and you're uh, you know you're engaging in this you know mystical magical world where uh, you're not going against uh, these big big threats instead you're just sort of kind of just chilling in a lounge and playing them and now uh, it is free to play, but you do have the option to put in real in-game money. Uh, a while ago, I completed a quest where I got 100 coins. And you can use those coins to either play in the battle arena, which is drafting. Which is basically, you're, you're taking against people, and you draft your own deck. It's, this is similar to what I've been told, is like they open a bunch of de cards, packs. And then you choose which card you want to use. I do not know exactly how drafting works, but here, uh, upon what I've been seeing with other people's videos, it, that's pretty much what it is. You get like a choice of cards, and then you pick and you build your own custom deck upon the cards that are being offered to you. Now, I haven't gone to that point yet. I do not have the battle arena mode yet. I don't know if I have to keep playing a little bit more just to get them. Uh, but you could put in your in-game money. It's actually kind of worth it to just build your own deck But uh, you got to be careful with what you're with you're spending because Just like magic the gathering. It's a very very fun Addicting game and it can cost you <laughs> a few pennies uh, to keep on playing that game and uh, That's the main reason why I just kind of stayed away from magic the gathering now, um, who do I recommend this to? Well, first off, anybody that's just like games. You don't even have to like video games. They're just like card games themselves. This is a very, very easy game for anyone to pick up. Young kids can pick up and play this game. It has a really nice, interesting tutorial. Uh, not so much as a tutorial, but sort of as like, a, oh, do this, and you do that, and... And there's tons of practice you could do to unlock the other classes and you know it, it, it the cards when you hover over the cards they explain what taunt means see it tells you oh no you must attack a minion with taunt you have to do it so it establishes you can't do anything to anyone unless you have taunt so and then you see the two skulls it explains to you if you attack this guy you are going to lose your minion so it explains to you it's like okay battle cry you could deal one damage boom uh you can give taunt and plus two two so now he is a three three with taunt and this this is sort of just like the fun of this game and uh i honestly seriously recommend it this is definitely a game for everybody uh don't uh this is definitely you know i've said uh, in the minecraft video that i'm not sure exactly how people would find this game to be <laughs> violent 
uh, and lead to things. But I will definitely guarantee you, parents, this is a uh, this is a game that um, you can play with your kids. Um, it develops this, it's a good skill developing game. It's it's really just it's a fun game. It's an addicting game as well. And uh, well, I personally I can't stop playing it. And, and don't worry, I mean, this game is, I mean, you can get a lot of cards without having the need of putting in real world money. And the game is currently on uh, beta, so, I mean, if there are kinks being worked on, right now I don't see any problems with it at all. So, I can only imagine the game just is just going to get much, much better, so... I, I honestly can't um, just, just can't wait for the future of, of Hearthstone. Maybe more classes, maybe more cards. Super psyched. But anyway, guys, the video is coming to an end here. So uh, I hope that you guys like this quick little brief look into Hearthstone. I do plan on making more Hearthstone videos, maybe just like walkthroughs of game footage. I do have another video about my first match. I don't know how slow I did it, so I'm going to try to commentate that one. In the future, uh, my Hearthstone videos might get a little longer, but that's only just because I'm just going to be showing you guys little by little what I did. So thank you, everybody, uh, <laughs> thank you everybody for watching. And uh, as always, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you want to. Uh, if you want to have a conversation with me, go to my subreddit. And if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, the links are down below. Anyway, guys, my uh, hunter wins. <laughs> Victory for uh, Team FGM. So, my name is Fico, and uh, this was my gaming mind. Animal Companion, Druid Class. It's just going to continue getting better, man. Just <laughs> go out and get Hearthstone. Seriously, guys. Take care, everyone.